Today we are going to be looking at two articles at the same time and synthesizing the information. What that means is we're going to be putting that information together and to do that we're going to be looking at the things that are the same in the two articles and the things that are different. So you're going to be doing that work with nine lives and with koalas wear mittens and you have sentence stems in your packet that can help you. But for example, so you can see how to do it, I'm going to do it with um, an Extreme Animals article and an article called Look Closely. I have the same sentence stems as you, and I've made a little chart so that I can write down things that are the same and different and then use my sentence stems to help me express what those same and different things are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read both articles to refresh my memory. You might have read Nine Lives yesterday, but it's been a few days since you read Koalas Wear Mittens. So it helps to reread both of them so you come in with a fresh mind about what it is all about. Extreme Animals Mountains often have extreme climates, and the animals that live there have some amazing adaptations. For instance, the red panda in Asia's Himalaya grows a thick coat. Some animals' fur is more than insulation. Living in the mountains of North America, snowshoe hares have snow-white coats that help them hide from mountain lions and other predators. Grizzly bears and hoary marmots living in the mountains of North America survive the cold winters by hibernating hiding out in dens and resting, to conserve energy when food is hard to find. When grizzly bears hibernate, their body temperature drops by about 12 degrees, and they take a breath only once about every 45 seconds. Other animals, like mountain goats and ibexes living in Europe's Alps, migrate to lower, warmer elevations during the winter. These animals have tough but flexible hooves to steady themselves when climbing up and down the rocky terrain looking for food. Just like these animals, you can also have fun on a mountain. You'll just need to figure out how to hike without hooves. So that's my Extreme Animals article. And now I'm going to look at my Look Closely article. It may seem like nothing can live in a desert because it's so dry. But most deserts are full of life, with plants and animals that have adapted to survive without much water. Some plants, like cacti, store enough water in their stems to, make, to last until the next rain. Other plants, like mesquite grass, have very small leaves that curl up in the daytime to conserve the water they have. Some desert plants sprout and bloom only when it rains. Desert animals also have adaptations that help them survive without much water. Kangaroo rats in the Sonoran Desert get water from the seeds they eat. Some carnivores, such as desert foxes, get enough liquid from their prey. Another trick? Most desert animals stay underground or beneath shady rocks during the day. Many of them come out to hunt for food at night when it's cool. If you plan to explore a desert, be sure to pack water, sunscreen, and protective clothing. After all, you're not a kangaroo rat. So now I've read both of my articles, and I want to think about what is my main idea for both of them. Because that's going to help me start thinking, okay, are these articles more the same? Are they more different? How are they the same? How are they different? So for my, I'm going to make my font a little bit smaller. For my Extreme Animals article, it is mostly about, I'm going to write what my main idea is. Many, oops, many animals that live in the mountains have adaptations to help them survive. I'm going to move. Nope, that's not what I want. There we go. So this is the main idea of my Extreme Animals article. And now I'm going to look at what is the main idea for my look closely. If I think about it, it talked about plants and animals that have adaptations. So to survive, it would help if I could type today, in the desert, 
the plants and animals that live there wow I cannot type today <laughs> have many adaptations alrighty and so that is my main idea for whoa, for my look closely article so I can see just by looking at my main ideas that both articles using my sentence stems is about the adaptations animals have to survive so I'm gonna go down here both and or both articles are about the adaptations um, that animals there need to survive that's one way that they are the same and so if I were to think about that so it says the animals that live there have some amazing adaptations they grow a thick coat they have snow white coats that help them hide they hibernate they migrate to lower warmer elevations and they also have tough but flexible hooks so that's all the way that they are the same with their adaptations now again it's adapted to survive and I'm really only talking about animals because that's what I said the animals there need to survive so desert animals have adaptations they get water from the seeds they eat they get enough liquid from their prey they stay underground or beneath shady rocks during the day and then they also hunt for food at night so that's the way that they're the same now if I think about how they're different my article about look closely also talked about plants and animals so it talked about the adaptations plants have to help them stay alive in those areas so they're different and the articles are different because look closely also talks about the adaptations plants have alrighty so I could see how they are different and how they are the same. They both talk about how animals have adaptations, but they're different because look closely talks about plant adaptations. I can also think that they are the same because both articles are about extreme climate. So if I look up here, mountains are extreme climates, but deserts are also extreme climates because of how dry they are. So mountains can get really, really cold, but deserts get so dry and um, hot. But when I think about a mountain and a desert, they're very different. The articles are different because what's this one called extreme animals is about animals in the mountains look closely is about animals and plants in the desert so you see how I'm finding big ways that they're alike and different, and I'm finding little ways that they're alike and different. All I'm doing, I'm looking exactly in my articles. I'm not thinking about anything that I know about mountains and about deserts. I'm thinking about what did my articles say about how they are the same and different. So this is just some examples of how you can use the sentence stems to find ways that articles are the same and how they're different. And what you're going to now go do is work on nine lives and koalas wear mittens. Maybe pull them out of your packet and put them side by side so that you can really see them clearly. 
Maybe you want to get some crayons, markers, or highlighters, and you want to underline or mark what I did and find the same and the different in your article. That's totally up to you. But go ahead and try to find a few ways that the articles are the same and how they are different for today's work.